Hey everyone, it's Carl from Cool Collectibles. Wanted to give you guys a look at uh, what probably will be my last Motu Classics figure in the new Modulock. Now I've always loved Masters of the Universe. I grew up watching the the cartoon, and um, then Shira came out, and I had Hordak and uh, Mantena as a kid, and loved them. And I never had the chance to have Modulock as a kid, so when I saw the prototype uh, pictures from Mattel at uh, I think um, last year or the year before some um, uh, SDCC, uh, I knew I just had to get my hands on this. And I'm not part of their subscription program or anything like that, so um, I had to get this off eBay. But um, I found it for a, well, I guess, a reasonable price. Um, it was sixty dollars um, plus only about ten dollars in shipping. So. Um, straight from the US and it was in perfect nick um, unfortunately with the box Mattel stupidly didn't uh, have a sort of a, a normal opening so you had to pretty much cut it um, and the box art is probably one of the nicer ones out of the Motu Classics line so I probably will keep this box um, and leave it up for display um, so it's pretty nice so I've pretty much got um, You've probably seen my other review of um, some of these ones. I don't have um, Shadow Weaver or, or Ratlaw there. Um, but I do have Grizzlaw, which is pretty cool, and Leech. And I think with uh, Mantena and uh, Modulock now, that should do me for my Horde. So, out of the box. And here he comes with all his bits. So, there's a bit of assembly. And uh, it doesn't look like it comes with any instructions, but it um, should be pretty... Oh, I guess the instructions are right there. <laughs> I just noticed that, so um, I'll uh, start putting him together and uh, give you guys another look uh, on the other side. Uh, see you in a bit. Thanks. Alright, back again. So here he is out of the box, and I'm pretty bloody impressed uh, with what I see so far. Here's the, uh, the main body that you get out of box and just look at that detail on the head sculpt and the paint app overall on this one is pretty good I haven't seen too many um, faults at all so this main main body gets the the usual articulation you get the uh, standard arms and hands um, and these legs here now the articulation on these legs I reckon have they've improved a little bit because I never realized they're I can't remember on the other figures that uh, you could rotate these at the knee um, but you can bend them and rotate them which is pretty cool uh, lots of ankle articulation there which is great and needed on this figure um, and lots of waist articulation that you can see as well um, and that's where you start slotting in some of the other the other components that you see here so just put that aside and you get his uh, the middle two legs I think they are which have the same articulation all over with the rotation and the ankle rocking and so on so that's pretty good and I'm loving the unique sort of sculpting on that and then you get uh, the rear legs I believe and some of that sculpting is pretty good too um, there's normally quite a lot of reuse in the Motu Classics line but um, on Modulock at least I think um, I don't know if all of it is uh, unique, but um, it's probably the most unique figure they've uh, released. So I'm pretty happy there. Um, I think uh, these are the two tail pieces. So you can take your pick, and I think with this tail piece you can then put in the um, the last set of legs. Um, and this one is if you um, just uh, have a simpler combination. And here's the, uh, the middle thorax or torso, if you want to call it that. <laughs> um, and here are his alternate arms with the pincers and so on and these are pretty nicely sculpted too so really digging that love that, love that claw um, and here's the second head with his eyes awesome sculpt so it's on a ball joint I believe, yeah not much up and down but looks fantastic now the weapons I was surprised that the weapons are actually made of a pretty soft 
plastic softer than a lot of the other Motu Classics accessories but no matter so yeah it is pretty soft as you can see so there's two guns there and these are all the, the neck pieces so I think this is the main one where you can put the two head sculpts in I'm not quite sure what uh, these two are um, but there was a picture where you could probably have that and put that there and put that there and do all sorts of weird combinations <laughs> so um, you could spend a lot of time mucking around with um, all the combinations but um, I'll put them together and uh, give you guys another look at the uh, assembled figure I'll be back in a bit Alright, back again and here he is all set up and um, I have to say they've done a pretty good job with all the joints nothing was hard to take off or put in really I just had to be careful on um, some of these joints here they were a bit tight um, and just loosening up the paint but once that was done it was all pretty good and he stands pretty well um, it's unfortunate that uh, he's only got one hand that can grasp the weapons I would have liked to have used both um, one in each hand but this one's just too wide to hold it so that's a bit of a shame um, but other than that <coughs> um, it's pretty damn awesome uh, you can sort of pose the legs but it's all it's a little hard to get all the legs um, level on the ground or in a natural looking pose I guess I tried to get him in some sort of semblance of a walking pose but it, it all got too hard so I just pretty much got him standing there like that um, and you have the three connecting points there on the body so all together it looks pretty good you do have um, some spare parts with the arms and so on <clears throat> but um, there's not much you can do with these um, you know, small number of leftover parts so you can either try and put together two separate figures or um, keep them together like this and I'll probably keep them together like that um, and squeeze them in with the horde up on the display um, which I'll give you guys a quick look um, once I put them in the cabinet in a second so there he is together um, if you're looking to get it I'd uh, probably try and hurry up and get it before the price skyrockets in the aftermarket the prices are already getting pretty high on eBay so um, get in while you can. Um, it's definitely one of the best uh, Motu Classics figures that I've got um, and probably in the line that I've seen so uh, I'm definitely glad to have him. Uh, so I'll just put him up in the display and uh, give you guys a quick look at that in a second. Just hold on, thanks. Alright, so I've managed to squeeze him in into the Horde display. So Grizzlaw, Leech and Mosquito at the back there and Modulok Hordak and Mantena. So Mantena and Modulok are definitely the two best figures in the Motuk line, I think. Uh, in my collection anyway. And they do look pretty incredible together. So I've got the, uh, the sort of core original bad guys here. Which are pretty good. Um, I am missing Whiplash, but he just goes for, for crazy prices these days. So I'm not going to spend... Uh, Know, close to 150 for him I think the cheapest was that I saw the other day so that's just crazy so I'll be content with uh, what I've got here um, so I'll be taking some some more group shots and so on um, and some more detailed pics that I've been posting up on the website and the, the Facebook page so um stay tuned hope you like that quick look at uh, Modulock and uh, hope you guys can get a Get your hands on him if you're um if you're looking for it. So um thanks again and I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers, bye.